Let's have a drink of coffee, bro. What's up, everybody? I'm Lockouts. Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel. Today, we'll be discussing the ways on how you can fix stuttering, screen tearing, and reduce input lag in Apex Legends. Uh, we're using RTSS, which is Rivia Time Statistics Tuner. It's the only thing you need. You don't need any crazy EXE file or CFG or to edit all this kind of other crazy fucking nonsense that these people are putting out videos for and making people do all these editing configurations to fix something that's just very simple. Um, but please click the button down there, subscribe, help a fellow out, you know, turn on notifications. I do do this multiple times a week. This is a brand new YouTube channel. We're trying to start something a little bit different. Uh, so please enjoy the video and help a fellow out. All right, guys, now that we're over here on the display, what I want to show you guys is just something. It's very simple. It's very easy. Uh, I do have a G-Sync monitor. I am running a 144 hertz panel, okay? Um, only thing I'm running is called Rivia Tuner Statistics Server. This is what we're using right here, Rivia Tuner, Riva Tuner however you say it. Um, what I use it for is not to limit frame rate. I simply use this for scan line sync now scan line sync it allows switching between single double and half line synchronization modes basically what that means is wherever you guys see a screen tearing it's in your screen all right so if your screen is tearing you know say um halfway cut it right in half cut your screen in half let's say that that's where the tear line is with when you're using uh, Riva Tuner here, you don't have to limit your frame rate or anything like that. Scanline Sync acts as a V-Sync synchronization, so it'll link your GPU to your monitor, okay? And what this does is wherever that screen tier line is, it'll move it up or down on your screen. Now, I'm running a 24 and a half inch, 144 hertz ASUS display, okay? And where the screen line um, tier is, is right about here in Apex Legends for me when I get a tiering, okay? What scan line does is it pulls it down off the screen to the very bottom, pixels, them rows where it scans, you know, your verticals. It takes that and moves it down here to where you don't see it, and it will sync Apex Legends to your GPU to what you're seeing on your monitor, whether you're using a 60 hertz display, 144 hertz, 240, the new 360s that come out sometime this year, this will all be the same thing. You don't need to limit your cap. You don't need to do all these things with uh, EXE files and all this other shit that I, I, man, listen, I have done a lot of research on how in the hell to get Apex Legends to look good, have no tiering, Reduce all that motion blur that you see where it's hazy as I mean, man, I get headaches on this 144 hertz panel and it just, it's apex and I don't know why, but this right here is a fix for you and I promise you it's it's super simple. So just, so just Google Riva, uh, you know, RTSS, Riva Tuner Statistics Stuber. It is powered by Guru, th Guru, Guru 3D. Uh, and now that we're over here in the apex, all right, I'll go into like, uh, the, the training mode now look i have i'm not editing this video at all i'm just showing you purely what i have that's on my screen so the quality that i'm capturing that you guys are seeing is going to be similar to what your game is going to start looking like you know um these are my in-game settings we'll go from here we'll start here i guess uh my video settings is just you know stock 16 by 9 native, 1920. I'm running at 51% brightness, 110 FOV. V-Sync is disabled. Make sure that you disable V-Sync when you are using um, Scanline Sync and RTSS, okay? Uh, I'm just running, I, I do have a GTX 1080. I do have a Ryzen CPU, eight core 16 thread, overclocked to four gigahertz right now. Uh, I do have all this texture filtering and everything else turned off but I do have four gigs of RAM for a texture streaming budget so that your textures that you're seeing, these files right here, 
all this. So it doesn't look so horrible when you're looking at the game. Otherwise, it looks very patchy and nonsense. Now, when I would be running around, especially right here, my tier would be like somewhere right here on my screen, okay? It would be in the middle part, but in the, in the bottom three quarters of my screen, that's where it would be. And what you're seeing right now is RTSS working, okay? This is it at its finest. I, we are locked at 144 hertz. We're running 144 frames stable. You can see the bullets ejecting out of the R99 now because you have synced Apex Legends to your GPU. So if you have been shooting people and bullets are like going through them and you can't figure out why, it's one of two things. Either that guy has super high ping and it's favoring the guy with higher ping or two, you think you're hitting them, but you're shooting them right here. You're shooting them right here. You're all over right there. And you're actually like hitting them, but you're not landing all your shots. Some are going there and there, and then some are going there. So it's more like you're, you're not all the way on target. You know what I mean? But it looks like you are and you're going, why am I not dropping this dude? I'm telling you, put RTSS on there, figure out when you're using RTSS. Now we'll go back over here to this screen, okay? So that I can bring up RTSS and, and talk about what I'm gonna say here. Um, when using this, I, I run it at minus 60 on my panel, okay? You can go, you know, minus, start at minus 10, minus 20, minus 30. Um, if you use anything that's in a positive note for scanline sync, it's gonna start making V-Sync have a slight input lag to you. You don't wanna do that. You don't wanna take the first scan lines. You wanna take the bottom scan lines and move it down your monitor. You don't wanna put it up because if you go from here up and you start scanning these lines to sync to, what you're gonna do is get uh, something that's similar to V-Sync input lag. Now. You want the last rendered frame, which is wherever your tier is, right here, and just start moving it down. Minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus whatever it is. However big your monitor or small or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Do this right here until it moves it right there down to the bottom of the screen and right off screen, okay? Now, when it moves it right off screen, you're gonna log into Apex Legends and you're gonna instantly Make sure that you have no V-Sync on. It's all the way turned off, okay? Um, and you have, you know, moderate settings in the game, depending on whatever your computer is. You know, some people have really decent rigs like me. They're running 1080s, 2080s, whatever it is, have you. Uh, other people are running, you know, lower end systems, GTX, you know, um, 970s or 1060s or 1060s. 1660 ti's whatever the hell they invented that graphics card for yeah but needless to say in the end what you end up with is this amazing looking screen it is like you are actually watching people's videos on youtube and you're playing the game now so the game is now in this type of quality and you're i'm capturing this by the way this is just a live capture and this is the quality of, of what you're seeing. I, th there's no blur. There's no screen tearing. Everything is locked into place. Like, I mean, you could, it doesn't matter. Like, look at, you see what I'm saying? Like, you understand. You're like, why am I not hitting shots, dude? What's going on? That's why, right there. Like, you can actually see your target, no problem now. You're lighting them up. Or you thought you were lighting them up. Now you're actually lighting them up. You can control your everything with this. Like I, you can move. Up. Man, I I never knew that I had that much control over everything. Now, if you want to know what my settings are for this, I am running 800 DPI on my monitor. My mouse settings are 1.4 and then 0.9 in game for an ADS. Okay. Um. That gives me control, it might be a little bit more for you, it might be a little bit less for you, whatever your settings are, hey, power to it. If it works, stay with it. I'm telling you that a lower DPI though will make you more accurate. Uh, you do have larger mouse movements, you do have to move with your arm at this kind of a DPI. Uh, smaller tweaks for like, you know, when I'm doing, uh, when you're strafe, strafe shooting, strafing, when you're going back and forth, this is more in your wrist. It's a, a smaller minor movement, but switching around is more of an arm sweeping motion. 
actually doing this becomes very accurate. That's why you're getting nailed with fucking wingman. And people are like, why is that guy cracking me with wingman shots? He's fucking hacking. No, he's not. He comes in here all the time and he's got his shit locked up. And he's nailing you with wingman shots. Just like that. Spend the time, practice, use this. Bam, dude, you have no tearing. Uh, this also fixes input lag because you're syncing and scanning the bottom last lines to be rendered as it's coming through your monitor. So your V-Sync latency is almost nil and gone. I mean, there is none. Look, click. I'll, I'll, I'll make the sound every time I click my, my button so that you can see on my screen how fast it is. Click, 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 reload. We'll do it again. Click, click, click. I mean, there is no input lag. I can't tell. And I mean, I've done everything. If I would unlock my frames, I get 280, 290, and it'll cap out 299, and it doesn't matter to me, you know? Like, um, I get huge amounts of tiering. I don't have a 240 hertz panel, so that, that would eliminate more of it, I would assume. But this works for me, and hopefully it works for all you guys. Uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe down there. Click the button. Turn on notifications. Check me out. Lockouts, baby. Peace.